ใช่อืมอืมอ๋อไก่ตัวสยามีตัวมันจะมาที่นี่โอ้ my god you guys are beautiful Jesus Christ <laughs> Oh, mm. that kingdom come, huh? <clears throat> Upon asking. <laughs> oh. Shanti, would you begin today? Thank you. Mm, thank you. Lesson one or one. God's will for me is perfect happiness. God's will for me is perfect happiness. Today, we will continue with the theme of happiness. This is a key idea in understanding what salvation means. You still believe it asks for suffering as penance for your sins. This is not so. Yet you must think it. So while you believe that sin is real and that God's son can sin. If sin is real, then happiness must be illusion. They cannot both be true. The sinful warrant only death and pain. And it is this they ask for, but they know it waits for them and it will seek them out and find them somewhere, sometimes, some form, which evens the account 
they owed to God. They would escape him in their fear, and yet he will pursue them, and they cannot escape. If sin is real, salvation must be pain. Pain is the cause of sin, and suffering can never be escaped mm -hmm. if sin is real. Salvation must be feared, for it will kill, but slowly taking everything away before it grants the welcome boon of death to victims who are little more than bones before salvation is a peace. Its rot is boundless, merciless, but wholly just. Who would seek out such a savage punishment? Who would not flee salvation and attempt in every way he can to drown the voice which offers it, offers it to him? Why would he try to listen and accept its offering? If sin is real, its offering is death. And met it in cruel and met it out in cruel form to match the vicious wishes in which sin is born. If sin is real, salvation has become your bitter enemy. The curse of God upon you who have crucified his son. You need the breath experience today. The exercises teach sin is not real and all that you believe must come from sin will never happen. For it has no cause. Accept atonement with an open mind, which cherishes no lingering belief mm -hmm. that you have made a devil of God's son. Beautiful. Would you do that again, darling? Oh my God, mm -hmm. so good. Accept atonement with an open mind, mm -hmm. which cherishes no lingering belief that you have made devil of God's son. There is no sin. We practice with this thought as often as we can today, because it is the basis for today's idea.
God's will for you is perfect happiness because there is no sin and suffering is causeless. Joy is just and pain is but the sign you have misunderstood yourself, myself. Fear, not the will of God, but turn to it in confidence that it will set you free from all consequences sin has wrought in feverish imagination. Say, God's will for me is perfect happiness. God's will for me is perfect happiness. All right, so let's just start the practice. Close your eyes. And first we'll start with that. There is no sin. He says, you know, practice this as often as you can. How often is that? There often. Is no, yeah. <laughs> there is no sin. Right? It's that mantra for today. There is no sin. Always notice what are the reactions when you say that? What actually comes in you? What's the what comes up? What's the experience after saying this? Because this is what this is about. Seek only the experience and do not let theology screw up your mind. There is no sin. What happens when you say it? And just allow yourself to experience yourself good, bad, ugly, and magnificent. Doesn't matter. But which one is it that's really true within you? <clears throat> there is no sin. Hmm? It's a, just a practice. Mm -hmm. There is no sin. Beautiful. And then you repeat, God's will for me is perfect happiness. Again, what happens when you say perfect happiness? Where is that in you? Where is that? And again, we're just waiting to see what the true response begins to happen. It's a revelation. It's not something to be dug out from history. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
pretty much the same as saying, could I allow myself to be perfectly happy? And then just say yes and see what comes. You gotta say yes. Yeah. And could I allow even more of this perfect happiness to show me the way? Yes. And could you allow it even more? It takes over completely. Say so yes. And it comes on its own. Fresh as. Mm. Beautiful. Just allow it even more. Allow it to take completely over. Mm. Yeah. So should you start your practice periods and attempt again to find the joy these thoughts will introduce in your mind? Mm -hmm. Again, let's just go that way. Can you allow yourself to be purely joyous? So yes. Yeah. It's already there. Mm -hmm. And could you allow even more of that pure joy to arise in you? Just say yes. It will come. It will immediately come in a very subtle way. But it will begin slowly to expand because its natural inheritance is to extend. And then you can even say, to everyone I offer this perfect joy. This, as you give it, you receive it. And then as you receive it, you can again give it. The more you give it, the more you have it. And this has no end. Mm -hmm. And how much of it you feel right now, it's how much you're giving. That's all. So give more or give less and find a sweet spot where it just feels so good to just give and receive. Like a lush cocoon of delight that you are. Mm. Remember to give these five minutes gladly to remove the heavy load you laid upon yourself with the insane belief that sin is real. That means all the crazy thoughts. Just put them aside. Like, who would you be without them? Who would you be without your crazy thinking? Yeah. Beautiful. They escape from madness. You are set on a freedom's road. And now today's idea brings wing to speed you on and hope to go still faster to the waiting goal of peace. Well, don't wait too long, right? 
There is no sin. Remember this today and tell yourself as often as you can, God's will for me is perfect peace. I'm going to find it now and give it now to sustain it. Holy instant turning into holy constant. You become an user. God's delight. God's will for me is perfect happiness. This is the truth because there is no sin. Okay. Any delightful section that touched your heart and move your will to express? Share them now or forever, forever hold your peace. Oh, I, I uh, want to talk about um, something you just said, and I don't know if you read, if it's there in the piece, uh, piece but you said um, something about um, uh, to go to go within. Mm. No, that's my word, maybe. Um, but what came through for me was that um, knowing that there is no sin, um, but there's happiness and joy within, but um, it's up to us to go within mm -hmm. and allow the happiness and joy to rise. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I think, I think it was in yesterday's reading, there was something similar yes. about our responsibility mm -hmm. to go to go within and allow it to rise. We have to become conscious of it mm -hmm. and allow it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not even conscious. It, it comes into your awareness and begins to naturally expand because that true light just gives of itself even without you doing anything. It comes and it just keeps giving like it's the kingdom is effortless the minute you try something well we this is just like a starter motor which is going around but once it kicks in it just gives of itself absolutely effortlessly yes. you become like a natural oozer yes and when you ooze you can't lose you know it's you're constantly beaming from the core of your being because that's that's what the virgin mary is that what's virgin you is there yeah beautiful is there a question or was it just um no it was just an awareness that um, yes i'm through as you spoke i d yeah. and it happened yesterday as well that um that we i have a responsibility yes to go in and allow. Mm -hmm. mm. It's very simple. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Do Everybody. I have one? God's will for you is perfect happiness mm -hmm. because there is no sin and suffering is causeless. Beautiful. I have another one. At this moment, this instant, I accept atonement with an open mind, which cherishes not lingering belief that you have made a devil of God's son. There is no sin. Beautiful. God will for me is perfect, happy. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming. It's so beautiful to see you all. I thank all your brothers and sisters for showing up, and we'll uh -huh. see you all very, very soon. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody.
Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Lovely today. Yes. Thank you. Blessings. Blessings. Mm -hmm. Perfect happiness. <laughs> Perfect happiness. <laughs> See if you can bear it. <laughs> All right. Bear it more? <clears throat> yeah, I think there's a, a next group coming up. So if you just um, depart gently and with a blessing, that would be great. All right, guys. <laughs> Bless you, dearest. Do you want? Do you want? Blessings. <laughs> See you soon. See you guys. Mwah. What's the next group, Kevin? I'm um, reading the song of prayer. Oh, I might stay on. Can I stay on? You can stay on. Oh. As long as you behave yourself. Oh, I know. Forgive <laughs> me for I've, I sin all the time. I'm a sinner. <laughs> Are you guys starting it or are you into it already? Uh, we're already into it. We're up to, let's see, we're... Where is this? Song of Prayer, Chapter 3, with oh, a yeah. section healing, Section 3, healing. Oh, you're almost done. Yeah, you've only got a couple more days to go and then we're finished. Um, and we're up to... the Chapter uh, section separation versus union. I'll have to check that out where that is. Oh, Christina, I haven't seen you for a long time. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Christina. Kevin? Yeah. Hey, um, because I know that because we are almost finished with the song of prayer, mm -hmm. um, I don't know what your group has done before, but has have you done the manual for teachers recently? Um, no, we haven't. I don't know if that would be of interest to people, but... Mm -hmm. That's a possibility. Yeah. Certainly is. I'll talk to Vicky and Mary Ann, see what they want to. Yeah, see what they think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you give me the numbers again, please? Um, section, healing section, separation versus union. Versus union. It's towards the back. Under the healing section, chapter three. I think that's chapter three. Section that? three. Section three. Mm -hmm. Separation versus union. It's waiting for um, a couple of people. Hang on, I'll stop the recording actually. Oh, yeah. Because oh, I've got to record it myself. Yeah. Oh. Um.